Russell Brand on his YouTube channel did a segment where he covered Fox News and he focused on just an absolutely insane rant from the silly person and silly host Janine Pirro, Judge Janine Pirro. And I can't believe they gave her a show because she's really out of her mind. But then again, I mean, it's Fox News. What do you expect? Pretty much it's a job requirement to be out of your mind to get on air over there. So what she does is she goes on about ISIS in her rant and basically pulls a George W. Bush by saying, well, we should fight them over there in Iraq. So she wants Iraq War 2.0. Yeah, because that's going to work. We were only there for a, over a decade before. We just need to stay there longer. That'll fix everything. No, you idiot. There's going to be a civil war. And if we get involved there, what? We're just preventing a civil war from happening again when we leave? What, do you want to permanently stay there? It doesn't make any fucking sense, right? So uh, she goes on and on about this. And at one point, she flat out keeps repeating, bomb them. Bomb them again. Bomb them. Bomb, 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 bomb them. To the point where it's fucking scary. Like, you could tell this is an insane person talking. So I want to give you some of Russell Brand's points. He was outraged by this segment, and he tried to make some points on it himself. And then I want to give you the controversy that erupted as a result of his response. The internet was all over Janine Pirro's crazy rant. But now, there's also a little bit of backlash against Russell Brand. He said, quote, Don't try to counter religious extremism with religious extremism. Fucking hell. When they do these bombings, it creates more insurgents. That's what creates them. Don't think of a bomb as going down there and destroying stuff. Think of it as like a seed that goes into the ground and grows insurgents out of it. It creates more terrorism when you do it. All right, so let's pause there. That's his first point, and it's inarguable. I mean, we've gone over it before. I've given you the studies on it, okay? There was one that was done in 2007. They came up with the term the Iraq effect. The CIA calls it blowback. What it means is the unintended consequences of an interventionist foreign policy. When we kill hundreds of thousands of civilians in Iraq, more civilians in Afghanistan, more civilians in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia with the drone strikes, what happens is people get angry. Moderate people who weren't anti-America, they get angry that you killed their aunt and uncle or brother or sister or friend, and they go, fuck it, I'm going to pick up an AK-47 and join an extremist group to defend the homeland. Okay, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge it, but it's a fact. So, so far, so good, Russell Brand is 100% correct. It's not even an opinion, it's just reality that he's pointing out. And by the way, Janine Pirro's show is called Justice with Janine Pirro. Irony that she uses the word justice. So, Brand actually riffs on that. He says, quote, That's the thing that's required here, is justice. Justice and tolerance and compassion. Aid for their refugees in that region, trying to stabilize them and help them to create infrastructure. Not the bombing, bombing, bombing system. Not referring to your fellow human beings as savages. That will make things much worse. Okay, now here, let's pause again. I think he's 50% right and 50% wrong. Of course he's right about, hey, maybe we should be good and be kind to people in the Middle East who are civilians and who have nothing to do with the conflict and who are moderate. Obviously that's true, right? Now, some Republicans would disagree with that, but we're not insane. So we agree with Russell on that. Where I disagree with Russell is the idea that we can't call ISIS savages. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what he's saying. I don't want to create a straw man of what his point is, but it certainly appears that and he goes on, too, and it, it's sort of hinting at that. The idea that we can't even talk about Al-Qaeda or ISIS or the Taliban or other operatives who actually are savages and, you know, oh, we shouldn't call them that. No, 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 we can. But we should d distinguish and delineate and say, whoa, but that doesn't mean that other people in the Middle East are Al-Qaeda or are ISIS. And then also, look, I don't think the U.S. should do it because I'm a non-interventionist. But yeah, I'm in favor of somebody fighting ISIS. They're fucking beheading people. So I don't think we should do it. It's none of our business. But yeah, somebody should do it. <laughs> Iran should step up and the Shiites could fight the Sunnis. I got no problem with that. Right? So he's, a, he's right and wrong there. Now, here is where the controversy starts. Quote, So is Fox News a fanatical terrorist propagandist organization? This isn't reasonable, is it? Like the way she's talking. Bomb them, bomb them. She's worse. 
She's the savage. She's totally espousing savage values. It's invective, just incendiary language, just volatile, combative, angry language. I'm not being just sensational. That is more dangerous than ISIS. That attitude, that's far-reaching. That's affecting millions and millions of people. Okay. Russell, I love you, but you are both 100% incorrect and correct at the same time. Now, I know that's completely contradictory, but let me explain exactly what I mean. So, to the point that uh, Fox News is t a terrorist organization and they're worse than, it's more dangerous than ISIS. No, you went too far. <laughs> Sorry, you went too far. ISIS, they are out in the open saying, we believe in jihad, we believe in an Islamic state, and we are going to fucking behead people who are infidels, and they're working their way across uh, Iraq and doing just that, and they were fighting in Syria and doing just that, and these are dangerous fucking people. These are very scary, very primitive, crazy people, okay? To call Fox News, okay, Fox News, they're terrible, they're horrible, they're propagandists, they're not beheading people. Sean Hannity doesn't have out a machete while he's doing his show, and he doesn't send it over to Greta while he's cutting off somebody's fucking head. <laughs> Look, I got no love for Fox News at all. But that's just not true. They're not worse than ISIS. They don't do beheadings, they don't do killings. Now, however, here's the area where he's right, and I'm going to try to make the point... See, what he needs... Here's what he needs. More nuance in his comment. It's too far-reaching. Because the sentiment behind what he's saying makes sense, but he goes too far. So here's where he's right, and here's what I think his point is. He's saying, look, man, the problem with Fox News is, especially with something like the Iraq War and the Afghanistan War, what they did is they used propaganda and they defended the Bush administration and they pushed out these lies and they repeated it over and over and over and worked people up into a frenzy to the point where because they did the propaganda, because they did the dirty work of the Bush administration and they got that narrative out in the minds of the American people, because of that, we then passively accepted a war with the country that didn't fucking attack us and we killed well over a hundred thousand civilians. That's the most conservative number. There are numbers that go as high as a million, okay? And then never mind the fact they cheerlead, Bill O'Reilly every day cheerleads drone strikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. There have been reports coming out of there, studies done by um, investigative journalist groups that say, whoa, thousands of civilians have been killed by the drone strikes. 98% of the drone strikes don't get top Al-Qaeda operatives. So we're not getting the right people, and we are creating more terrorists. So, look, if he makes the point that the propaganda that they've done has led to a war and justified a war that killed hundreds of thousands of civilians, and from a raw numbers perspective, that's worse than what a lot of, you know, terrorists that don't have a broader means to reach a broader audience can do. In that respect, he's right, man. In that respect, he's right, and it's painful to say, and it's a very didactic, very controversial point to make, but if he's making the point like that, the one that I just made there, I don't think you could argue against that. It's the platform that they have and the minds that they affected. They got us to passively accept invading a country that didn't attack us. First it was, Saddam attacked us on 9-11, he was with Osama bin Laden, you know, they were working together. That wasn't true. Then it was, he has weapons of mass destruction. That wasn't true. Then it was, oh, he's just a bad guy. But there's a lot of bad guys. We're allies with a lot of bad guys. That doesn't mean we fucking topple them, right? And we killed so many civilians as a result of it. So look, uh, overall, I think Russell Brand means well. I think there is something to what he's saying, but he does need to watch out and watch how he phrases things. Because when you take it that far, when you say Fox News is a fanatical terrorist propaganda organization, they're not terrorists. Terrorism is doing violence in the name of a political ideology. They didn't literally do violence. 